morning. I just wanted to share with you a video this morning about morning routines. Um, I, I feel guided to share because I've had a few clients come up to me and ask me how I do my morning routine. And I think it's so key right now, you know, we're in this lockdown period uh, where we're having to self-isolate a lot of us. Um, or those of you that are having to go out to work, you know, there's a, it's a real intense energy right now. So I wanted to share this so that you can start your day in the best way possible, keep your calm, keep your center, you know, just feel really balanced before you go out in the world or before, you know, you start your day if you're on lockdown in your house. And so, you know, um, morning routines, most successful people will have a morning routine of some sort. Um, so I just wanted to share with you one, my morning routine, just to inspire you, just a few steps that I use um, that maybe you can incorporate into your morning in order to be able to win your day. Um, and also, you know, I think it's really important for us to start our day on our own agenda, um, especially right now, you know, we're going to be bombarded with so much information, other people's opinions, you know, if you're going into work, you're going in, you potentially may be going into a bit of a toxic environment where everyone is gossiping about, you know, the newest news. Um, and it's quite fear-based, so I think it's really important right now for us to, you know, when we wake up in the morning, we're in our own energy, you know, we, it's a reset, it's a new day, and just to keep that balanced feeling throughout the day, um, it's really good to set the tone in the morning. And so what I do, I do six things. I start with movement, I do meditation, I do visualization, I do breath work, um, I do gratitude, and affirmations and so i'm just going to describe some of these things for you and i'll do a further video which will actually guide you through doing these things for yourself and so movement um before i do this also obviously like my morning routine i do other things so drinking hot lemon water um drinking a pint of water to hydrate yourself is really really important so that's just like my non-negotiable staple thing that i do um, and then I will start doing my movement to wake myself up and to move my energy. So the two movements I want to explain to you, that, which I think if you have not meant much time at all, do these things. Um, there's three movements in Kundalini, which is a warm up. Um, if you have the time, incorporate this. If you don't have the time, there's the five Tibetans. I do that, even if I only have one minute before I have to do other things, I will do these Tibetan rites. So the five movements that you can do um, I will share with you in the other video, um, which they work all of your muscles, all of your joints, everything, every part of your body gets moved and it's supposed to be the elixir of youth. Um, the Tibetan but, but monks um, do the, have always done this since time began and you know, like they're living till hundreds of years of age and still as supple, still as flexible and it's, it's just a, a really amazing thing to start your day with. Um, so I'll share with you that in the other video. Um, Breath work is so, so powerful, so important. You know, half of the time we don't breathe properly. We're, like I'm doing this now because I'm talking, we're breathing into our chest when we're meant to be breathing into our abdomens. It, you know, allowing us to oxygenate our bodies, to feel vibrant, to, you know, we're literally bringing in life force, energy, our, you know, air, and our oxygen into our lungs. So it's really important to have some kind of a practice of doing this each morning. Again, if you're busy and you're about to start work or go to work, just doing 30 seconds of this, it's just the fact that you've took time out and you've set the intention to just be, to just connect. Connect to the, the basic life force that we have going through us, which is our, our oxygen, our air. Um, so I wanted to share with you in the other video, I'm gonna share, I have different practices of breath work. I have my own practice where I'll be playing some music like this and just doing some nostril breathing. Um, the alternate nostril breathing, it's amazing for um, coordinating the brain, it promotes well-being, it promotes just balance, it allows the heart rate to actually settle and it lowers the heart rate, um, it lowers you know stress and anxiety so it's a really great one to have in these times. Other breath work that I really love to do where if I wanted if I've got time and I want to be guided I will um, I've shared this in previous videos Tony Robbins he has this priming where he does um, quite active breath work and um, this is an amazing one. Um, also Wim Hof, absolutely loving him. I've been training with Wim, Wim Hof through his videos for a number of years now and his breath work is amazing. Um, so I will share with you a bit more about that in another video. Um, meditation, I think meditation should be a non-negotiable in everyone's life. It should be routine, your, your morning routine like brushing your teeth. It should be something that we all do at least for a minute just to actually 
stop our thinking and be, you know, just connect to ourselves from the inside. Um, it's really important to start our day with our own agenda again, rather than having everyone else's. So before you get on your phone, before you check your emails, your WhatsApps, your anything, you know, check in with yourself and check in inside. Um, so meditation, so key. Again, you know, if we don't have time, a minute of this is just again setting the intention to be there for ourselves. Self care, you know, self practice, filling our cup up, overflowing with, you know, feeling good feelings and our own energy is so important before starting our day especially in this time so meditation again you know I have my own practice 10 minutes I'll play some music some sound healing music that I know will finish in 10 minutes so I've timed it or playing some music like this um, or again I will follow other guided meditations depending on I like to change it up I think you know as human beings we need variation so I'll share with you some other ways of doing meditation um, Deepak Chopra has got a, a really beautiful 21 day meditation that he's doing right now. It's a free um, challenge and I think it's around hope and certainty, which we could all do with, you know, some guidance with right now. And um, yeah, like I just guide, guided meditations for chakra healing, chakra clearing, lots of different meditations you can do. There are so many on YouTube, but I'll share with you some in another video. Um, and then so the next thing would be gratitude. Having an attitude of gratitude is so, so key, so important. You know, we, can, we have a choice of how we can perceive things. We can look to the negative, we can look to the worst case, or we can find things to be, like, to be blessed for, you know, count our blessings. So every single morning, I just feel gratitude for my life, for my health. You know, not, it, this is not guaranteed to any of us. So just feeling gratitude for that, feeling gratitude for my family, feeling gratitude I'm staying in this amazing apartment that my friend invited me to stay with her, you know, gratitude for my friends. Just feeling like, just keep thinking of all the things I can be grateful for. If there's something really shitty going on, just think of the gratitude that you have for the things that are going well. Um, visualization. So I always do these things in this order as well. Once you come out of your meditation, you know, you do the movement because it gets you moving. Um, we do the breath work because it moves our our thoughts, uh, like our, our logical mind wants something to actually focus on. So it gives it that to so focus on, but it's starting to just release, just relax. And then we can get into meditation where we're totally, we're working on disconnecting from our thoughts. We're working on being, you know, free in our mind of thoughts. And then um, the gratitude and the visualization, we're then just really connecting to our true self, our, our inner voice, in order to be able to really build this up. So um, visualization, I'll close my eyes and I will visualize, you know, visualize me being healthy, visualize my family and friends, everyone being healthy and happy, visualizing certain situations that are coming up that I want to play out, you know, in the best way. So um, visualizing positive, endings for this whole lockdown thing you know vi like visualizing i'm starting my job new job in two weeks how is that going to be i visualize myself being in that environment and it being positive and it being great and um moving to that that from there then because you're feeling that feeling of feeling good that overflowing of feeling good going into affirmations self-talk is so powerful you know what we our thoughts are what we tell ourselves internally, but what we say about ourselves and our situations, our words, they're bringing thoughts into reality and they're, they're bringing energy to the thoughts. So it's really, really important to have some element of self-talk, especially in this time right now where we are probably thinking, oh my God, what's going on? And we're like, we have these freak out thoughts that come out naturally. We really need to hone that in and, and you know, program and condition our mind to think in the things that we want to think, you know, to create the situations that we want to create. So affirmations, um, they need to be positive, they need to be present, and they need to invoke emotions, you know, make you feel good. Like, so I have, you know, some of mine I might say, um, you know, I'm confident, I am strong before, you know, thinking about this new job. You know, I am worthy, I am abundant, you know, really just and saying them with, with energy, saying them with emotion and really feeling them fully and saying them over and over, starting your day with that. And then the last thing I do, no matter where I am, even if I'm in my where my mom lived, uh, which is just factory land, there's no green to be seen, I will hang my head out the window and I'll feel the air on my face. So if you've got a balcony, if you've got a garden, or if you haven't got time, you know, you're, you're busy and you've got work coming up, just put your head out the window and just breathe in a few breaths and just feel gratitude. You have a day of life, another day of life, and a great day because you've just 
done all of your miracle morning routine and you've, you've yeah, set for the day. So I hope this was really useful and helpful. Um, I will be sharing the other video soon, so keep watching.